Hi everyone, welcome to the PrestaShop 1.7 tutorial video series. Today we'll continue to discover how to configure our products and customer settings. And in our second video, we'll dedicate it to the customer settings. Like for the orders, this section gathers everything related to the management of your customers. As you can see, it's divided into three parts. Customer preferences, groups and titles. But let's start by the beginning. Customer preferences. The customers page brings together specifically customer related options, most notably the B2B mode. And let's start from the top and go to the bottom. You can redisplay your cart at the login. You can also send an email after registration and you can set a password reset delay. And as we said earlier, you can enable the B2B mode. The B2B mode or business to business mode brings a handful of new features to your store. Customers are no longer considered as individuals, but as companies, and therefore some new options appear. The customer profile has a new field related to the professional information. BAT numbers, or USA, CIRIT numbers in France, CNPJ numbers in Brazil, etc, etc. Prices can be masked to specific groups. Prices can be managed on a per customer basis for the whole catalogue, or per category and invoices can be generated manually, etc, etc. And we can also set whether to ask for a birth date or enable our partner offers. And in this second section, the groups, PrestaShop enables you to give your customers certain privileges by assigning them to groups. You can create as many customer groups as needed and assign a user to as many groups as you like. This is all done from the groups tab under the customer settings menu. By default, three special groups are available. Visitor, all persons without a customer account or authenticated. Guest, all persons who placed an order with the guest checkout. That option needs to be enabled, obviously. And customer, the customers are all people who created an account on your shop and are authenticated. Be careful, these three groups cannot be deleted. To create more groups, click the Add New Group button and you will be able to get a creation form with the following details. So the name of your new group, the discount, the price display method, the drop down list gives you a choice between tax excluded or tax included, and whether you want to show prices to this particular group. Once these settings are in place, you can save the group as is or add a per category or per module settings. In the second case, after the group has been saved, open it again and the form will load with two more options. So let's do that. Create our name, we'll give no discount, our price display method is tax included and we're going to show prices to this new group and we save. If we return to edit that group, we now see the new forms which are loaded. So category discount, click on the add category discount to bring up a new window which contains a list of your categories. We can open those here. You can pick one and apply a specific discount which will apply for that group of customers only and to that category only. So let's choose tops and we'll apply a 10% discount. It now appears here, discount on tops, 10%. Authorised modules. This section enables you to block members of this group to access and use some of your shop's modules. And you can add a customer to a group of your choice by editing the customer details from the list of customers in the customers page under the customers menu. Click on the edit button on the customer row, then in the group access table, select the groups to which you want the customer to belong. And lastly, titles. It's very easy, this is a very easy tool to use and obviously essential for your business. The social title tool helps you better define your customers. In the customers list, you can choose to only display customers having a certain social title. Click on the add to new social title button 
and it brings you up with the following form. So the social title, you can choose anything from a very common sir, lady, gentleman, etc. Or you could put in something like Jedi or Magnificent One. And then you need to choose the gender. And then you can add a small 16 by 16 image to represent that title. And there's the set. For the set, the image width. Pressure works best with a 16 by 16 image and will resize your image if bigger than that. Okay, that's it for this section and we'll see you for the next video.